This is a patient who comes in with abdominal pain and got a CT scan without intravenous contrast. And as we scroll down, we look at the upper abdominal organs. Looks, they look pretty okay. The spleen, kidneys, adrenal glands, pancreas, gallbladder, liver. Nothing acute going on here. Nothing of concern. There's a small hiatal hernia. We look down at the aorta and IVC in the retroperitoneal region. Maybe a few small lymph nodes, but they're all sub-centimeter in their short axis dimension. Bladders uh, moderately distended. A little bit of stool in the rectum over there, but no real significant inflammatory change. So just looking at it, there's nothing acute going on on face value that we need to be worried about. But obviously, you need to look organ by organ and uh, look at all specific blind spots. And as we look at this really carefully in the right lower quadrant, we can see that there is a tubular structure here that's low in density, that's blind ending, right? So here we have the cecum, and um, and we can see that uh, right over there, we can see that there's a structure that's arising from the cecum. That looks pretty okay. That looks like the appendix. We can see it over there. And as we follow that, it curls back on itself and leads to this area here that's blind ending and fluid filled. And so just that tip of the appendix is just expanded and fluid filled like that. That itself is uh, suspicious for uh, a mucosal. Now mucosals could be to a number of causes. This does require resection. This was resected and this turned out to be a low grade appendiceal mucinous neoplasm.